All right, all suited up. Nice autumn day, so what better time to go for a ride? <laughs> Welcome on this ride with me today. We're taking a route that I'm taking actually as around a distance of about, I don't know, 70, 80 kilometers. It's a nice autumn day. At the beginning here, there's going to be some traffic. This is a popular and there's a uh, scouts competition going on right around these parts and uh, there's going to be a lot of traffic and people around for that reason as well so here this is a, uh, you won't be able to see on the uh, right side, but there's a lake there. And, uh, parking lot and a small beach and uh, all kinds of amenities and a popular spot. This road goes around this lake here. This uh, paved route is actually really fun. Just uh, unfortunate that it has uh, what the limit is speed limits, speed down limit, but it would be fun to blast this down. It's got a good condition and uh, nice, twisty, like. They fixed up this piece of road, uh, constructed that. Uh, pedestrian pathway on the right there. I uh, made that about a year or two ago and uh, that's a really good improvement because, because previously there were a lot of uh, bikers and walkers on this piece of the, of the road. And uh, this used to be even more narrow and uh, cars going both ways. Today's weather, they uh, actually forecasted some rain and I was sure that there would be no way to go out on a bike today. Uh, so I'm following which way the uh, rain showers go. And then finally it looked like since Ghana was like going to go past us and, and uh, just at the last moment I decided that yeah I had a chance to go out. It's been raining here. anywhere so we're heading north now and these forests here these are like actually really close to the uh, Helsinki region and uh, actually 
there are quite a lot of tourists that are coming to Helsinki to visit or whatever, and that they are sort of one of the attractions people go out to to the woods. For us Finns, it's not like anything special or like out of the ordinary, but uh, for sure some Japanese or Chinese or whatever tourists coming out from anywhere um, like to see an untouched or pretty untouched forest as these river forests here are because they are designated into as the, so nature nature parks and such and uh, now there's even more like uh, services being constructed for tourists like uh, uh, Fireplace, uh, I would call that like a, it's like a bonfire, but maybe it's like a it looks like a fire making places, and then they're bringing out firewood, uh, so you don't need to go out into the woods and put you know, down any trees. You know, you have the firewood available there, and they even have oil. And so anyway, this forest is quite nice, it's, uh, sort of uh, plenty of it anyway. Yeah, this, uh, I, I'm not like blasting now down this because uh, it is wet. Uh, it has quite some uh, steep turns here, like this one. And because I promised myself that I uh, was gonna be a nice boy today. There is a uh, small, let's say, a pond, a couple of hundred meters across. Tears the here. Sorvalampi and uh, there are a couple of cars here during the summertime it's a really popular spot for people to go swimming there's a small pier and uh, you can go down into the pond from uh, anywhere basically there uh, it's fairly clear water and, uh, anyway deep enough like a few meters deep so that it's not like muddy you don't you won't touch the bottom with it so it's nice to be swimming there now we're going there's a small lake there on the right and on the left side there so this pavement here is in much worse condition I've done this uh, route sometimes before and there's definitely not that much traffic here so they're not really putting money into maintaining. I wanted to ride calmly but this 30 kilometers an hour is just uh, bit ridiculous, I might try to go past as there becomes a chance for that. videoing some of these nice nice routes and uh, I've actually found that uh, more than I actually sort of expected there are quite many quite many nice routes around okay let's go
here the pavement is dry. A couple of other bikes. That looks like a historic one, that first one. An old racing bike or something. Triumph, yeah. Another bike. These girls have been out for some collecting some mushrooms in the woods. There are several horse ranches here. This is a uh, sort of a major major route okay we're in the beginning of the uh, autumn foliage period I suspect this is going to be lasting for a while because we had a really dry summer and it's already started sort of a little bit early. turning right yeah we're going through Klaukkala we're toward, to going towards Klaukkala and then through it and, uh, and from there we're coming back there are some houses that are just been constructed. Nowadays when people are working more and more um, out of the office, home office, I'm sure that it has brought some appeal to places like this that are not too far away but uh, still in a little bit more decent way. There's a huge big horse ranch right there on the right side. Sorry you can't see it but um, there are a lot of horses there. Seems a row. A hockey rink. We're turning right. Not just quite yet, the next one. Bye. 
brakes first, that means bicycles. in the face. Big fields on the left side there, and uh, nice view over them, we're a little bit higher up here. Houses here and uh, forest branches and, and forest. Shooting. Maybe this car is going straight as well. Yep. Bit of a bumpy road. There might be a old school here someplace. At least it's a very nice looking house there. I thought it was a school. This is like a farm. 
We're going through the yard. There's horses, several of them. Visibility now. Go past. This way. Actually, this is bringing us back to around the sea original lake we went went around before. So we're done like a big lap now, and uh, now we're just going back. To the this is a golf course, which is a very prestigious, popular. coming back around the whole thing instead of uh, like cutting it straight from there we definitely prefer this
be uh, like a really really nice road to be riding on when it's dry Me, thanks. And we're back in the same spot. You know, cars coming, always gotta be careful. There is the lake on the left now again. This is a, also like a fabulous route when it, uh, just, if it was just a bit more dry. Here in Finland, we're driving on slippery ground some part of the year. And, uh, well, nowadays, well, uh, when I got my license a long time ago, cars didn't have like uh, slip production systems and stabilization systems and that kind of thing. And were mostly manual. So we learned that drive cars on slippery surfaces nowadays with all those assisting things it's not so obvious even for the young kids in Finland here but uh, anyway the uh, conditions are not like oh there's the same guys nice nice hey. so or maybe they weren't So I'm just uh, like overly careful myself about slippery surfaces because I know what it does when you're on a slippery surface with a car and that's sort of like embedded in my backbone and uh, with a bike it's not even so easy or good so gotta be careful. I mean if a uh, car, if you lose traction on a car Normally, it's not that a big of a deal to recover it, but with a bike, it's uh, definitely the chances are not so great. But this is a, uh, there's definitely so much traffic here, I, I expected that fully, but it would be a nice road, you know, if it was a little bit more empty and uh, fully dry. Because of that scout thing happening. Yeah. Patrolling around here. Nice, nice little sweeper. That was a nice ride, just a little bit damp in some places. Probably need to check if I have to uh, wash the bike just a bit. I don't want to get any, wanted to have it clean in the garage. So before I push it in or ride it in, probably just wash it in the sky.
So, we're back where we started just a moment ago. So, thanks for joining me. That was a nice ride. Until the next one. Bye.